What is up all you handsome girls and you, and you beautiful boys? It is Bobby here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a intro um or intro for free on your phone um and do it by yourself because honestly you don't really need anybody's help to help you do this. So the three apps that you will need of course are the easiest and simplest apps that you could ever have. It is YouTube, of course. You need Google Chrome. Um, and those two should be what everybody has already. Um, and then this, the third app that you will need is called Kind Master. Now, Kind Master is free on iOS and Android devices. Um, Kind Master is a really, really amazing app that I have used since the very beginning of making my videos. And, um, I used to use Pocket Video, but Pocket Video is is very unreliable on Android on Android devices. So I decided to start using Kind Master. Now Kind Master is free, like I said, on iOS and Android devices. I would not provide you guys with an app that costed money or anything in this app that that necessarily needed money. Now there is a watermark on this on this um, app, but it is very very small and it does not. And that's, it does not take the eye away from your video or how you present yourself in your video at all. Um, and I just think Kind Master is the best, best app to use when making YouTube videos because you can make your YouTube videos in 720p and it's for free. You can add so many things from this tiny app. You can add, you can add text, you can add handwriting, you can add overlays, you can add effects, different effects, you can add different things from the media including images and videos. Um, you can also, um, I'm sorry, you can also record and add music and audio, different audios, and you can adjust those audios according to how you feel. You can record, you can go back, you can cut, crop, you can do so many things on this app. There's, there's no limit to what this app can do. And I think that is just the most amazing app that you could ever have. You can also make thumbnails with this app. You can simply go into this app, go like that, to click this little button, and click clap, capture, and and save. And it'll save, and that's how I make my, my thumbnails. That's pretty much it. That's the only way I do it. And the last app that you guys will need is Pixel Lab. Now you don't necess necessarily need Pixel Lab, but if you would like to make your intro template with um just if you guys want to make your intro template a little 3D and a little more dimensional and a little more um you and who you are and how you feel, then I I would definitely be downloading Pixel Lab. Pixel Lab is a very amazing app for making um all kinds of 3D images and and customizing them to fit you and how you act and presume. I'm sorry I'm so awkward and my voice is like so crinkly and crackly. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a sleepy bean. It's 2.50, man, and I promised I was going to stay up, and I promised I was going to film this video, and I, I really wanted to do it for Blurts, and his, his, um, all his social media links will be in the description, but yes, he's amazing, and I just had to do it for all of you guys, because he is the reason why I got 10 likes. I pushed past 10 likes on one of my first videos, and I thank him tremendously for that. He is so amazing. So guys, go check out Blurts. He is amazing, and his channel is amazing. The guy is just so motivational and so um, so innovative and, and so himself, and I, I, I couldn't ask for a better person and a better supporter. Um, so you guys go check them out. Um, but for Pixel Lab, Pixel Lab is a really, really great place to just kind of express who you are in images. Now, um, Pixel Lab is, I don't really want to go into it. Now, if you guys don't, um, if you guys do want me to go into it and getting very exclusive, then make sure you guys leave me, um, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you guys can somehow, I don't know, even though I know it's asking a lot, if you guys can get this video to 15 likes, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, I'll do an exclusive video on Pixel Lab, and I'll also post a video on how to make your own outro as well. Um, and it's similar to making your intro, but it involves downloading um, 
downloading in transparent logo like um social media logos but with transparent backgrounds and um i go into exclusivity on how to add those to the con master app and from the con master app so if you guys want to do that make sure you guys smash that like button and um get this video to 15 likes so now um the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is is download the blank intro template. Now, the end, I think the bank the blank intro template is the most important. Of course, it's the, of course it's the most important part of the video um, because without it, you wouldn't have an intro. So the person that I download all my intro templates and outro templates from is this guy named Panda. Now, Panda does really, really amazing intro templates, and all his intro templates are blank. Because a majority of people, there are some people where you can have, um, people will say they have blank intro templates for you, and they're not really blank. They have this bullshit going on, like, um, adding your name. See, yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that. I just need straight blank things. See, people are really nice and they add the links on how to find these videos here. But to be honest, all you need is the video itself from the YouTube. <laughs> from the YouTube. <laughs> this is all you guys need. You need a blank intro template with no words, no anything. Just a very, very amazing background and very, very capturing beats. Do not look at my video history. Hey, don't be looking at my video history, man. Chris Miles came out with a new video and I had to watch it. And then I was concerned of why my ear was leaking. Because I have this mysterious hole in my ear that only 10% of the world knows about. So, um, there's that. But, um, yes, guys, there is, um, this is all you need. So what you need to do now, I'm sorry, I got kind of off track. What you guys need to do now is click the share button at the top right corner. Um, it's like a little arrow and it's kind of curved and pointed right if you did not know um, And then you push copy link. That's pretty much it you go to Chrome and You go to this site The link will be in the description, but you go to this site right here on loanvideoconverter.com and this is how I um, download all my some a majority of my music um, that is on YouTube even and um, also how I convert my videos and make my intro templates like I'm showing you now so what you need to do is click on this right here convert a video link slash URL click on that it'll send you to this little area first this is where you'll originally come to whenever you first um, click on the link from Google all you have to do is type in in it literally in Google all you need to type in is YouTube to mp4 converter search it and it's like the first link that pops up um, but if not then you guys will have the link in the description but um, you go to video formats and then you click mp4 now I don't use any other any other of these video formats or any other of the audio formats for that matter other than mp3 because I know that mp3 and mp4 will work on any other device that I have um, a couple of these do not work on on my laptop or even my PlayStation for that matter and I like having my videos available wherever I am with me on all my on my own devices so if you guys want this to be able to be broadcast anywhere you want your intro to be available on any device you guys need to make sure that you push mp4 um for videos and mp3 for music or or audio files um so you call this in this little pasted link here and then you paste it you click start once it starts, it'll be preparing and it goes this process usually goes really fast if it doesn't then honestly Odds are that the video is copyrighted and you will not be able to download it. So then you click download. You don't have to hold it. I just hold it. I just held it because I already have the video downloaded and I really don't want to download it again. 
So all you have to do is tap it, and it'll begin downloading. Now, usually, majority of the time, it'll send you to a different site. Um, do not exit out of the site. Just cl simply click back. Now, if you are on a laptop, make sure that you do exit out of the um, the extra like bloatware and ads that they have going on because this is a site that isn't normally used. Um, so it is like a third-party site, so there are other sites, ads that'll pop up that'll get in the way and be very annoying. So just make sure that you back out of those. Um, do not exit out because you might accidentally go back and um, get off of the site itself. So just make sure you click back like a couple times, and if it just persists, then then um, then exit out of the the um, the added site. Um, I'm sorry. Something was stuck in my throat. Um, no, it was not a dick. Okay, it was not a dick. So, so then after you have, wow, that is a weird little kid. So then after that, um, you go to the home page. You go back to your home page once it's already downloaded. I'm gonna tell you guys really quick to go to Pixel Lab. Um, and then you add your image. Now the text that I'm gonna add is going to say, um, you know, just for just for the meme, just for the meme. What should I add? Jesus, this is sad. Okay, I'm just gonna write Bob because my name isn't Bob, but it's Bobby, and that's close enough. So you gotta edit. Um, the new text will be here. I'm just gonna add Bob. Bam. Push OK. That's the text. You just edit the, the text. That's all you have to do to add it. It's already there. It's here. Oh, yes. And to have a transparent background, um, you have to make sure that the image is PNG. Um, it's a PNG file. I believe that's what it's called. Um, but yes, you have to go. I'm gonna um, make the text different. So I'm gonna add a color. What I'm definitely gonna do is add a texture. So adding a texture makes your image different. Um, and what I mean by makes your image different is that it actually adds the photo that you add to it. <laughs> <clears throat> It actually makes the, um, the the background of the photo, um, whatever photo you select. So I'm gonna make it this aesthetically pleasing thing right here, um, and then that's it. Bam, and then it's there. So there, and then you push OK. Um, you make I'm gonna make this a lot bigger so you guys can see it better. I'm gonna make it like 125. Okay. And then I'm gonna go. You gotta. I, I like to add different things to it. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And then I'm gonna be back here um, and show you guys some other stuff. So let me just do that really quick.
Okay, so now that I have the image in a certain way that I want, um, what I usually do is go to this thing called 3D Rotate, where it moves the image in a way that um, makes it and shows that it is 3D itself. So I'm going to add it like this. And then you go to export image because the image will not save um, in the different the different angles that you add it in every single time. Um, if you add it in a different angle and it isn't going to automatically save, you need to export the image. So you click on these. Oops, I'm sorry. That's not what I need to do. You need to click on these three little dots in the top right hand corner. You go to export image. Um, you make sure it's PNG because otherwise it will not be able to have a, parent, a transparent background. You go to save to gallery. It's a rendering image. Saving image. Bam. It's done. And now it's saved that way. You change it again. I'm going to just add three different ways to add this text. So you do that. And um, I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to add about four of them. I don't, I don't, I don't really care about some kind of I'm sorry. You, uh, at this angle. I'm most likely not going to use all of these, but I would rather have them all so I would be safe rather than sorry. Because adding these are very difficult, and continuing to do these is very difficult. So... I think this is probably the most fun. Let me turn it to the left a little bit again. Alright, I'm gonna make one more. And I'm gonna make two more because I need this, I need it to look straight as well. This is so that people that subscribe to me see that this is my channel and that it's me. You know what I mean? That it's like my stuff. Like, people need to see that it's your name because the 10 seconds goes by pretty fast. And if you make it all different, just different angles, they're not going to be able to just recognize that it's you. And I, I need people to know that it's just me. <laughs> so, um, if you don't need people to know that, I understand that, but at the same time, I don't. So, I'm going to clear this off because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to clear that off. Intro template is already there. Now, the last thing you need to do, this is it. This is the last step, guys. You go to Kind Master. After you've done all this, and bam, it's already here. You don't need to edit the clip speed. Now, what you need to do is click on on the on the um on the clip you zoom in using your two fingers it doesn't matter which two this is how you zoom in though it has to be pretty pretty far in <laughs> that's what she said because um <laughs> the longer the video is the more you can see um and make everything and adjust everything accordingly to how slow because you see how slow this is going even when it's not press play because I can I can edit the image and how the image is turned and how it is through this so I'm gonna do that really quickly um, I'm going to what I need to do now is see whenever the beat drops um, I'm going to add this little purple marker up here so when whenever you add this little purple marker that's how you know that um, that's where the beat dropped so that's where you can stop and start a different image so that the image will have a different process so what I'm gonna do is simply press play and every time I hear a beat drop a certain way that I feel goes how I want it to I'm going to add a purple marker so and how to add a purple marker is you click okay you see the little red marker where it the um the timeline where it it says where the video moves forward how the video moves forward it's currently it says 
0 0.000 blah blah blah, blah 0 0.34 that's what you guys need to click on in order to have the purple dots you guys need to click up there you just need to click directly directly on that that red marker and then once it turns purple that's how you know that it added um, now and it'll be going pretty fast when I first start it it'll go pretty fast so I'm just gonna have to add them very quickly as soon as I hear a, a beat so I'm gonna do that now I don't really care if it's not perfect at this point I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it so eh. So these are a lot. You don't really need all these, but first you go to media. Now on Pixel Lab, these this will be here. And there these are my previous ones for my original video. But this is the ones that we just made. And so we're gonna add I'm gonna add this one first because it's the clearest. Um, and I'm gonna stop it where the first beat starts. Now it's hard to get it kind of precise, but that's okay. Um, now you can change the in animation. I think that that is a very big part of it, of how the um, how the vibe is created, is how the um, the image itself goes. Because if it's just sitting there, it's that's really boring, and I think that people can be more creative than that. So usually um, with the amount of time that you have, you can only add so many things. Um, I don't think all the cropping and color filters is necessary, but on the in animations and the out overall animation and the out, out animation are the three main components of how to make your um, intro template kind of pop and, and be kind of just just very unique in yourself so um sometimes you won't be able to add certain ones like on sometimes i can't add an outro in it i can't add an out animation or in animation or overall animation sometimes you just kind of have to feel it out um so for an information animation i'm going to do a pop up or a pop up or a pop open i think that i think um no, I think, um, I think the one that kind of just got, kind of just comes in is, like, really awesome. If I can find it, okay, pop, that's it. It's literally right there. So I'm going to make it kind of fast. And then I'm going to add an overall information, animation, which is going to be a pulse. And then lastly, I'm going to write, make an out animation, which is going to be the slide. Where's that slide? A pop. Pop. Hmm. Hmm. This is kind of hard. This is, I think this is like the hardest part, is like figuring out which one you want. So I'm going to do a slide right. I'm going to make these very simple. Because I don't have time to be just trying to be super extra. Just very extra, like I always am. So I'm going to add that. No, what am I doing? Go to layer media, and pixel lab, put the same one. Um, you, of course, need to make it big enough to be seen. Um, in animation, I'm gonna make it fade. Then I'm gonna make it slide right.
Now I'm gonna make a snap up. So what I'm gonna do now is make this is gonna be very short. I have to add this way back here. And then you just kind of keep going about that process and just making it very unique. And I think this is kind of the hardest part is trying to make that very different. So I'm going to come back to you guys once this is already done. Okay guys, I'm finished. Um, it only took me about 10 minutes, so it's not going to be perfect. It's really probably not going to be great, but um, I just think this is a really good introduction of how to make your own intros. Um, so if you guys like this, please let me know in the comments in the comment section. If you guys want me to do more tutorials like this, let me know. Um, like I said, if you guys get this video to 15 likes, I'm going to be more than happy to do the pixel lab tutorial and also show you guys how to do your own outros and make your own outros and download transparent logos and such um and show you guys how i do all that myself um on my own um without having any extra help or having anybody pay to do all that um yeah that's a little overrated but yeah But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how I do it. Um, actually, to be honest, that wasn't really that bad for only doing it for five minutes. But after that, you guys can share it. And after you share it, you go save video to gallery. Or you could just upload it directly to YouTube or whatever you guys, or like Dropbox, all that jazz, if you guys feel comfortable with that. Um, or you could, like I do, you guys could just click this button right here, save video to gallery. You gotta no thanks. Um, you guys can look at all this, but no, I don't really think that that is. I think that this whole thing is overrated. I wouldn't need to upgrade to professional version. I don't need it. Um, but yes, this is it. You go no thanks. Continue with watermark, and that keeps the watermark in the right top corner. Um, and then you click the HD, which is 720 by 1280p, which is the best ever because you guys can have that on so many things. There are so many videos, um, so many smart devices nowadays, even laptops and such, um, tablets and such use 720p. And 720p is one of the highest, even though 1080p and 1280p is higher. Um, there are so many more higher things than, than 720p, but 720p is the basic for HD that's when HD starts is at 720 um, even though like 1080 is for TVs and all that jazz but yes yeah, 720 is the best that's all you guys need to know that's it that's the best so you go to HD and then you download it and then it doesn't take long for an intro template because it's only 10 seconds long it should take like 20 to 30 seconds um, and then after that I will show you guys it'll be in your gallery and That'll pretty much be it. And bam, it's done. Save to video to gallery. Click OK. You go home. Of course. You go to your gallery. Instead of going to moments, you go to albums. It should be in your exports. That were that is where all of your Kind Master videos will be in your exports. And now it's here, guys. And that was it. And that's how you guys make your intro template. After you do that, you can put this wherever you guys want. You can share it to your YouTube, your Facebook, anywhere. You guys can put it anywhere, Twitter, Instagram. It'll all be there. Um, all the, And then you guys can copy your links, send it to anything, put it on your devices, all your other devices, from your cellular device. It's not hard. This is it. That's how you make an intro template for free on your phone. That's it. That's all the components that helps you. 
and I hope these guys, I hope, I hope this helped you guys so much, I really, really hope it did, um, I think that's everything, that's all you guys needed to know on how to make an intro template, um, also, um, my, my, on my amazing friend Jabe, um, who is known uh, on YouTube as Variety Guy, has a YouTube channel, and I promised that, 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 that I would have a shout out for him on Tuesday, and I didn't even get to do it because I didn't do a video on Tuesday, and I'm really, really sorry for that, man, um, but he is an amazing YouTuber, and he, he needs so much support from you guys because you guys are amazing, and I know you guys are so motivating. He is such an awesome YouTuber in person in general. He is hilarious. He is so cool. He, so, he like the name of his YouTube channel, he does a variety of things on his YouTube channel, so there is never a dull moment with this guy, so make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel and like his channel and send so much love from this channel to his channel and make sure that you guys tell him that I sent you there. Um, and I love you guys so, so, so motherfucking much. And you guys are my world. And I love you guys. <laughs> like I said before. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. And um, can't wait. Talk to you guys later. Bye. You guys have an amazing day. Just like, or night. It's, it's, it's YouTube. Like, you can be watching this at any time, anywhere. Bye.